Hi, my name is Aaron Lindsdale. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. It's review day! Today I'm going to review Magna Cart. Are these little foldable carts really worth the money? Let's find out. Folding carts really worth the money. I, I picked mine up at a local hardware store, and you can pick one up at the link below on Amazon.com. Uh, just click on the link; it'll take you there, and see you after this review if you like it or not. So, I travel a lot as a motivational speaker. I'm having to haul books and supplies. I I wear a Polar Explorer costume, all the gear that I've worn, and I gotta haul that junk to like everywhere. So it's kind of a challenge to carry boxes of books. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to oh, waddle with a 30 pound box of books and then other stuff. Doesn't work, people. Just doesn't work. So I was searching around, trying to find a solution and just uh, hopping through the store and all of a sudden I come across this thing uh, to just like it says, here we go. Totally awesome name, Magna Cart. Right? Cool. So does this really solve the challenge of trying to haul stuff around to events and light duty wares? And thus far, my experience of two and a half years of having this thing is absolutely thumbs up. And you might say, well, really, how good is this? Now, this cart is rated to 150 pounds. Wow, that's it? Yeah, actually, it's pretty good. Now, of course, it's foldable, it's collapsible, it's got some hooks and strappy deals, but in general, I've found it really works. Now, of course, when I'm doing this reveal, I'll break the cart, just watch that, but so far, so good. So, as you can see, this thing is really thin. I'll bust out my handy-dandy tape measure here just to show you how thin it is, or thick, depending on how you want to say it. And we'll come right here, and the thickness of this thing is, it's like two and a quarter inches, I don't know, two and a half inches, let's see. Not too shabby, yeah. Uh, the height when folded is, <laughs> let's see if I can do this on camera without dropping it or smacking myself on the face. All right. Okay. Let's see if we can do this here. I could read you the specifications, but it's much more enjoyable to show you. So it is 25, just over 25 inches. We'll just call it you know, 25 and a half inches, 26 if you really need to be technical. And then the width is, come on, boom, yeah, 15 and a quarter inches. Pretty good. Now, the, the basic dimension, the, the, the width, it, it's small for a hand truck, but it totally works. The height, obviously, like, well, what are you going to do with that? Check it out! This thing totally telescopes up to a relatively usable cart height. Now, I'm going to have to tilt the camera down here. Let's see if I can tilt that down. Oh, maybe not. Let me loosen the camera up here. I'll probably chop my head off or something silly. Okay, so I'll have to duck down. So now I've telescoped this cart and the height is... Dum, 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 dum. The height is, because you can totally read that there, is 40 inches. Now, are you going to stack something 40 inches tall on this thing? Probably not, but... I'm going to demonstrate this because I, I like to show you that the, the products that I use, if I can demonstrate them, I mean, obviously on camera it can be a little bit challenging, but so far so good. The, the locking mechanism in this guy, it allows for, I think, two positions here. This is the first position. It's a little bit shorter. It's about the height of my hip. I'm six feet tall. And then the fully telescoped adds another four or five inches just above my hip. So that's pretty good. So you can lower it down to a couple different settings if you need to. Wherever the first click is. Yeah, so that's not too bad. 
So we'll fold this guy out. And yeah, and actually I want to really show you this. This is one of the magic tricks here. So I'll uh, see if I can get down here. Okay, so the fold out technique is pretty cool. So you pull it like this. It's a little bit hard to do it like that. And then these wheels pop out. Check that out. Pretty cool. Now this is pretty light. I mean, it's got, it doesn't have a base plate bottom here. It's just got a very open design. The wheels flip out, they lock. They are solid wheels, so they're not silly pneumatic, which is really nice, no air required. Uh, the rivets in here are okay. I have seen these be broken before, but that's more of people pulling it upstairs. Ka-chung, ka-chung, ka-chung. So just note that this is, oops, <laughs> this is a light duty cart. This is not something to be used in shipping and receiving. This is not something to be hauling heavy junk around. But I'm gonna show you in just a minute that it actually does work pretty well. So I've got three boxes of books here because as a speaker, I'm like running around selling books, sharing my experiences with other people. And uh, I got a heavy ass, Heavy box of books. Now it's full. Oh crud, you can't see that. Okay, I have to pick that up for you. Full of books. Lost in Winnie Corner, Antarctic Tears. Oh, and uh, by the way, I do not receive any payment from Magna Cart for this review. I'm just reviewing this for you because I want to show you products that I like and I enjoy and that work for me. So box number one set up. Box number two is a little bit lighter, still about 25 pounds. And then box number three is pretty heavy again. Okay, there we go. So, can this cart wheel my stuff around? Now, one of the keys to this cart is you do, oops, let me get here so my head's not chopped off. You do not want to just yank the handle back because this joint right here is not incredibly strong. So when you pull this back, you can see that there's a lot of flex before the lift happens. Now in a heavy duty shipping and receiving hand truck, this won't be a problem, but could you take a heavy duty shipping and receiving hand truck to somewhere like, no, you can't. So the whole point of this is you have to be a little bit gentle for it with it but this really allows you to haul stuff around. So what you do is you put your foot here or you put it against the wheel. You pull back and you lose a little bit of physics. And voila, I'm hauling, pushing, I don't know, 80 or 90 pounds of books and stuff without any real problems. And you can see there now, just standing like this, you can see the height for me. I wouldn't want it any shorter for me. So being six feet, <laughs> yeah, there you go. So being six feet tall, I wouldn't want this cart any shorter. I certainly wouldn't put the handle to the lower position for me, no way. I mean, I'd, I'll show you. Now I've got to stoop over a bit. Definitely not enjoyable. In fact, let me move the camera back here just a bit. So you can see my other stuff I'm gonna review. <laughs> Okay, and there, you tilt it back, so that causes me to stoop down, so that's not gonna work. Still working on the camera here, sorry. Okay, so for me, I telescope up all the way, you just be gentle, and away we go. So, this Magna Card thing actually works incredibly well, I have to say, I've been very happy with it. I've been happy with my purchase. Uh, it, it's worked really well. I have seen them, like I said, broken. People bring it up the stairs. ka doom ka doom ka -doom. This cart is absolutely not good for if you're going to hammer upstairs, you're going to wreck this thing. This is a very light duty cart, but it's still hauling. Would I put 150 pounds on this? Whew, no way. I mean, that would be... Each box would be uh, like 50 pounds, no way. So I wouldn't use it at its maximum capacity, but 80 pounds or something, total, total winner here. Um, no problem there. Scoots it around, the wheels are pretty good. I have taken stuff upstairs, 
but I'm just real gentle, just pull it up, pull it up, or lowering it down the stairs, lower it down, lower it down. So, uh, so far it's so good. I'm, I'm quite happy with the operation here. The blade here, let me drop this down here. I'll show you the blade. It's got this nice, oops. Uh, one other thing to cut in here, totally forgot. How much does this actually weigh? <laughs> because I have a scale. We'll beep this in. I'll bring my little footstool over to you. And let's see how much this thing weighs. Okay. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Alrighty, so I'm going to put the cart on top of it so you can see how much the cart weighs. Hopefully you can read that. Boom. So, six pounds, 11 ounces, not too bad for something that can carry 75 or 80 pretty comfortably. For those of you in gram world, no, that's zero. Oh, pounds, kilograms, there we go. Alright, uh, ounces, nobody cares about ounces. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Grams. Okay. So about uh, three, three kilos. No problem. But for the rest of us in the West, uh, six pounds, 11 ounces. Ah, six pounds, 11 ounces. Not bad to carry 80 plus pounds. Let's get this nice textured finish to it, which is actually pretty good, so stuff doesn't skitter around, but I would call the Magna Cart a total winner for hauling basic boxes, maybe three boxes of books or something around. Completely awesome. It certainly beats having to go back and forth three or four times to a location. Sometimes I'll have two boxes, uh, my bags, and everything else, so I would say this Magna Cart's a complete winner. Link below to the cart on Amazon. Check it out. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll give you reviews, motivation, inspiration, travel, things I use that might improve your life. Please like and comment on the video. Subscribe to the channel below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell dingy thing. And if you want to leave a comment, just hit that arrow at the bottom. Oh, I left my phone again, of course. The bottom right of the video. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Leave a comment, let me know what I'm doing, and please support my channel on Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon. Thank you very much for watching!